Okay, talking about stars and mental strength and right. talented players and all that, let's talk about this one, Sada Nahiman. I mean, she came to Lagos unknown. Uh, people were not really talking about her because she wasn't seeded. She's 18 from Burundi, mm. an African. And she got to the finals, we're like, okay, for the first time we have an African right here. But then at the end of the day, you're having a star, I mean, a huge star, you know, being born right here in Lagos. That's a big <laughs> shout. That's a big shout for me, Cecilia, 18-year-old uh, Burundi, uh, Sadana Imana. Yeah. I uh, wasn't seeded, like you said. Yeah. And, um... No, a lot were expected uh, mm -hmm. from uh, from her in this particular tournament, yeah. but she rose up to the occasion, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in that particular final, and uh, she lost the first set to Cena, yeah. right? As if and, right. And usually, <laughs> when you lose the first set like that, you can have a way of You're just like, okay, uh, discouraging you. But she bounced back nicely, mm -hmm. nicely in the second and the third set, six four six three, uh, to defeat her opponent uh, Laura Pigossi from yeah, Brazil. Brazil, and that Pigossi from Brazil was actually seated. So it was an unseeded player going up against a seeded player in the Absolutely. final. Usually, uh, the latter normally wins, mm -hmm. but not in this case. Especially after losing the first set. Exactly. Okay, let's enjoy the highlights at the moment, and we'll come back. We'll have someone from the tennis media to talk to us about the whole thing that went down at Lagos Open. <laughs> Welcome back. We have two guests in the studio. We have Tolu Fabusui from the Nigeria Tennis Federation Media. And also we have a former tennis player, Jonathan Igbinovia, also on the show. It's all about Lagos 
and tennis. Good morning, guys. Good to have you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Mm. Okay, morning. you've been here once. I'm telling you, you're making your debut. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> Fantastic. It's good great to have morning. both of you around. Um, Jonathan, you were here um, last year. Yeah. yeah. January. I mean, no, right? where's the it's time crazy. gone to? Yeah, yeah, it flies. <laughs> time really flies indeed. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Lagos Open. First mm -hmm. leg is over. Um, for the umpteen time, no Nigerian made it to the quarterfinals. And, um, but we saw good tennis as well. So we saw Calvin uh, Hemery as well as the uh, young girl from Burundi, the 18-year-old uh, Sada Naimana, uh, winning the singles uh, women's title. That's the first African to do that uh, since 20, 2007. And uh, you, do, you watched that play, uh, definitely. And uh, what did you make of her? Um, I've, I've known her even before she came to Lagos. And... Right. Um, She's 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 a she's she's a very good talent and she's she's presently ranked the number one um, African junior Genius. and she's ranked 20, about 22 in the world and um, she's been turning a lot of heads. Before she came to Lagos, um, she was in Kenya and she played um, two consecutive finals there where she lost in mm. the final and so this was her third time of trying. So I'm sure when she lost the first set, it was probably running through her head that uh, am I going to lose my okay. third finals again in just 2019? But I don't know where she got um, the motivation from, but. Um, Maybe Pigosi was making a lot of um, first errors and um, um, she saw the opportunity and she just um, took it um, once and for all. Mm -hmm. And uh, her first ever um, ITF um, title. And um, if I, I'm also correct, I, this is the first ever Burundian to ever win a, a, an yeah. ITF title. So I'm sure um, okay. our country will be very proud of her. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's huge. That's the ranking, but she had to do it in Lagos. John Van, I saw you watch her. Yes. You know, what are your takeaways from her game? Because she just has a way of coming, coming back even when she was down. Yes, yeah, you have the, uh, well, what would you call it? It's the, the style that never goes away. Okay. You know, she's that kind of player. Of course, to some level, yes. You know, when it comes to outside 500, 300 in the world, you got to have that. Just mm. uh, a way of winning and bringing extra ball, making the your yeah. opponent just your hit extra ball, like more than five ball. Mm. The other girl that she played, uh, the Big Brazilian, yeah. she was good. She had a, a good potential because mm -hmm. her style of play was very good. Uh, but the, the other Brunian girl, mm -hmm. she has that fighting spirit and that discipline. And um, when you have that combination when it comes to uh, a hockey, I mean, especially tennis, discipline and uh, you know, that competitiveness mm -hmm. uh, is going to take you places. Mm. Then you need more of something to add to your game. That what I say, is still have, she still have a lot to work on to be able to get to those level of where we say, call call Serena or whatever. Okay, yeah. Well, she's 18 years old now, yeah. like uh, realistically, because 18 is not young. Uh, Coca <laughs> Exactly. 15 exactly. just won the first. Uh, our title on the WTA tour a few days ago at 18. She's uh, broken into top 100. Where do you realize where she was staying? She was living live in Co Atlanta. Coco. She was, yeah, she trained in my academy when it wow. was. Wow. Okay, interesting. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. You're going to have to tell us more about that, uh, definitely. Yeah. Ah, uh, Coco Golf. But before, let's continue with Lagos. Yeah, okay. let's listen yeah. to uh, yeah, yeah. Lehman now you know, yeah. talking about her game and how excited she is coming to Lagos and winning her very first ITF title. I don't know. I'm so happy. I, I, I'm happy I won it here. I couldn't, I couldn't be happier to win it anywhere else. And the crowd was supporting me so much. And, and it's good to win here. I'm African. And yeah, so I think it's good. It's been many years in Africa and has won, so I'm happy. I'm going to fight for the, next, for the next tournament. I mean, like right now, I'm very tired. And I'm going to recover well today and maybe take a day off and hope to play the next day on Wednesday. And yes, I'm hoping to do the same next week. It's like I am really hard worker. I, I work really hard and yes, I've been playing a lot of juniors uh, Grand Slams. I played a lot maybe since I was 16 and yes, I'm happy. Like this year I've been playing the women's and I've done pretty well. I played, I think this is my sixth one and the first time I lost first round, second time I did semis and the two I did finals, finals. I lost in the final and it's my first title. It's the best. Uh, yeah, I mean, I won, and here it's very special because the crowd is with me, and yes, and it's really good. The court is good, and yeah, the weather was pretty good today also. Yeah, awesome crowd. Everyone were practically rooting for her. Maybe because she's an African or a style of play. I mean, she was moving around the court, and we were just following the whole game. Let's leave her now, Taya, and talk about the guys. The guy, I mean, yeah. 
The man. Um, Carve it. <laughs> the man. <laughs> the man. <laughs> I think, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to sound like, okay, because I'm a woman or something, but I actually enjoy the girls' game more than the guys' game because yeah. you know, we saw rallies and everything and Still, the two yeah. set games and all. But I the guys, to tell you the, the, the two girl, sets, the, 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 the result is not a reflection of what it is anyway. You guys saw it. <laughs> um, just like you said, um, I, I, I was saying it's immediately the, uh, um, the men's final ended. Um, the men's final lasted um, just about 67 minutes mm. and that, and the women's final lasted times two of that, mm. which means um, we saw um, beautiful tennis in the women's final than the men's final. It was just one-sided in the men's one final because right. Calvin Emery was, um, I don't know, I, I, I think, I, I think it's day. different class. but. Yeah. Um, he, he did well because um, the person he beat out in Sexy from Bosnia was a former champion in 2015. True. And it's, you know, someone who's come to Lagos before, who's done it under the roof of the Lagos Lawn Tennis Club, mm. probably knows how to win. And this is probably, this is Calvin's first time of playing a final in Lagos. So um, it, was, it was a bit difficult for him. But um, um, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the reason why um, Calvin had it a, a bit easy against Sexy was because I noticed that um, Calvin played only Africans all through the rounds. He played the Nigerian in the first round. Uh. Played it. So, um, and Calvin is way ahead of all. He's, he's not, he's, he was a seeded um, five in the tournament, mm. which um, the seeded one and seeded two were from Tunisia. But mm. when he played, when he played um, as his dog, as some of the players he played from the first round to the semifinals, it was quite easy. They didn't really give him any tough time. So he didn't so, really exert himself yes. too much. He, he, didn't, he, he, didn't, he didn't drop a set throughout the tournament. Mm. And Sectic had a marathon semi-finals yeah. yesterday, um, yeah. two days ago, against um, um, David Pichler, the fourth seed. Mm. So it, that match lasted almost three hours. So he was a bit exhausted, mm. although they had the same time to rest, but you can't compare the number of hours spent on court sure. with Calvin. And Calvin, um, um, he, he's, I, you know, he's been, as, he's been as high as almost 100 in the world, and um, he's just coming back from injury. So coming to Lagos, he was very desperate to, uh, to win so in his father's well. land. All right. So okay. Yeah. Kindly all your thoughts there. I know you have a lot to talk about uh, on this uh, Lagos Open, the first leg, but we need to go uh, on a break. And when we come back, we'll continue our review of the first leg of the Lagos Open Tennis Championships. You're welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. During that break, you saw how Calvin Emery defeated uh, Seth Kitch in the final of the men's singles. Let's take, a react Let's take his reaction now, um, his post-match reaction, obviously, uh, he's very delighted to have won his first title right here in Nigeria. Uh, uh, it feels great, it feels great. It was a tough week for me because with the weather it wasn't easy. We play a lot of matches, you know, in a row. So I'm very happy to, to bring the, to the trophy with me because three years ago I did final and I was very pissed to lose in the final. So now I'm very happy to bring a trophy for, to my country here. Yeah. Like uh, every ma every single match, you know, it it wasn't because the score was easy. That was an easy match. You know, I had to stay co focused all the match because I know, you know, for one or two games different, the guy can come back on the on the match and be better. So I tried to be focused to to give him zero chance to to come back, and I did the job. So I'm very happy. Now I'm just happy to win this week. You know, enjoy with my friends. This, this trophy and see tomorrow what's going on for the next tournament, yeah. Calvin Emery, that's your Lagos Open champion. The first leg, of course, the second leg is, is started already and we're looking to double up uh, in that particular competition. Let's get back to our guest now, uh, Jonathan. We, we, we're done talking, um, you know, about the foreign guys that usually come and, you know, take away all the prizes and all the... All the let's focus on Nigeria a bit now. You were here... Uh, you were here in the studio yeah. last year, January, and we talked about the poor performance of Nigerian players. Yeah. So from then till now, let's compare. Would you say the level of Nigerian players, are we talking progression here or are we talking regression? I told you all before. Or stagnant. Say, yeah, I told everybody <laughs> before. The people in, in denial, when you're in denial, it's tough. Because you're in denial, you miss... Not only you're lying to others, but now you're lying to yourself. Mm. So you can't really see. And I keep telling them, it don't matter if Federer comes to this tournament and play any player, any, any of our Nigerian local player, they're not going to get nothing out of it. You know why? why? Is that? Because for you to compete to his level, you got to be able to train to his level. 
Mm. You got to be able to, like, you know, perform that way. And I keep saying this. It's development. There's difference between development and uh, kind of, uh, like, uh, I would say exposure, mm -hmm. like playing tournament. You don't get better. You don't. You don't. You don't get. You don't get better in the tournament. You only get tournament experience. Tournament experience means you get better in practice and whatever you practice. Mm -hmm. That's what you're gonna bring to the, to the to the match, to your tournament. And now, and we keep saying the same old thing. You 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 will not see that because you mm -hmm. gotta create. When it comes to tennis, tennis is a very disciplined sport. You gotta be disciplined. Very disciplined, so your your surrounding matters, and the only way to do it right now is help this place. Of course, we do have the talent. Mm. I, I don't think uh, if you sell the last Nigeria that play the final, it's maybe what you you you, you, you want to tell me I'm the only talented Nigerian player? No, because so there have to be a way whereby they help these kids here. If two or four kids. Practice overseas now with the, the rough shoulders with these Coco Golf, all this, all this, all that players. Of course, they're gonna be in the top. Mm. But if that doesn't happen, it's hard because you, you know, your 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 surrounding matters. The way you practice and the way you, you know, prepare yourself. Preparation. That's what pretty much. Mm. So 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 training is is a is a major problem. That's why my time. jump players are not training Big properly. Time. Yeah. For sure. Well, well, why is that? No, no, no facilities yeah, or no, no coaches yeah. or what is it? Coaches, they have to be a structure. There's no structure. No structure. No That's more. why you see a lot of uh, tennis players. They keep playing this tournament, mm -hmm. and this tournament. Like, let me tell you about this. A lot of people don't understand. So I'm here to educate, to really open people's eyes to understand what is going on. This future level. If you play this future level, this tournament, three years in a row you have 5% of making it. Hmm. Chance of 5%. Of making to, it to where? To make it to, to the top to level, the top like level. to Grand Slam. Mm. Or this, like, I would say top 100. Mm. I would say top 100. Mm. Top 100 for sure, you have a career in it. Top 100 means you're making a million dollars a year. Okay, that's a career, that's cool. That's very cool because I have most of my, uh, my colleagues that will play Daniel Young, if you don't know. Mm. Kevin Anderson, sure. my dad, and I mean, they were here. Mali Jaziri from Tunisia. Tunisia. He's the yeah. one I beat in the quarterfinal in Nogbe. This Look tournament. At that. Had cuts, you yeah. know, and these are, these are guys I know because I, 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 I trained with them. Mm. Even when I was there, even when I was playing a final year in Lagos. Can you believe that? But no, a lot of people don't know because media don't carry this thing. And this is sad. This is very sad. And the, the whole country needs to be listening to this. When I was playing final in this tournament, no sponsor, no coach. Hmm. You were playing. I was play, play tournament. Training yes. and playing alone. Yes. How did you do After, that? That's what I'm saying. But well, nobody knows. I'm more with individual person. I know my goal. I know what I'm. But I don't expect everybody else to be that disciplined. Hmm. But some people need help. So what? What do we do? What do we, Nigerians do? I was going do? to ask you exactly. People like you, you know, former players, and what are you guys doing to ensure that okay, this help comes? You actually mentioned that Coco Golf trained in your own academy in the US. Yes. So it was a, what are it you was ten years. They were, they were. It was. She was eight years old when she came with her mom and dad, and they moved when she was 12, 13 to Florida. And I saw, her, you know. She was, she was hitting, you can tell in her in the, in the eyes, like, she's very disciplined, serious. Mm. And this, this, this are, these are the things that you have to see in a player to know, is it worth investing in them? And I've seen some players here like that, I promise you. I'm not just bragging about my country. I've seen a player, some of these kids here, you know, it's like, how do you see diamond in the rough? Yeah. As a coach, like me, I do, I do not want to become, become a coach. I'm a co very competitive tennis player. But how I become a coach, I don't know. It just... It happened. I got pushed. You know. Okay. Oh. Uh, I mean, we have to hold on on that yeah. one. Let's come to the players that are in action today. Some mm. Nigerian players, uh, Tolu, actually made it in the qualifiers. The qualifiers were played yesterday, so some of them made it to the main draw. Do we have... The expectations and if we can take a look at you know the result, yeah. how it opens out, you know, mm. the whole of it. Okay, we'll this is what names. you have. Yeah. This is okay. the same old names we've known. Yeah. The qualifying draw for the second leg. Sylvester Manuel, uh straight sets over Augustine Steven, uh Gabriel Friday, straight sets over Emmanuel Oche. 
Uh, a lot of names out. Wilson Ignovia, is this any relations yeah. to you? Yeah, your brother. my nephew. Okay. Your nephew, yeah, wow. Yeah, interesting. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Six love, six one. So he's also advanced uh, yeah. uh, as well. So um, there's also uh, Albert and this song, song, 6362 over Dustin. Uh, so he's actually beat, uh, beat uh, uh, an American. That's, that's very, very impressive. Uh, Paul Emanuel wins for Paul Emanuel, wins for uh, Tochuku AZ as well. So this is still the qualifying draw, right? Mm -hmm. This is not where the real action starts. <laughs> it's where we get to the first round proper. That's when we start to you know, see the true test. Uh, that's going to be the true test of the abilities of a lot of these uh, players. God, God gift uh, uh, as well to defeated uh, Christian Paul 6162 in the qualifying draw. In the women's singles, uh, Cecilia, a lot mm -hmm. of those names as well too. Uh, keep popping up. Absolutely. Likes of Sarah Adeguke, I know that mm -hmm. they are still here. Omalade Adiremi and Peace uh, Udo. It mm -hmm. was a straight wow. Mm -hmm. This is double a remarkable double. one. Sarah Adeguke and Abiodun Oyegoke. Six love, six three. Mm -hmm. That's the result. You have a Sabbath Ibrahim and Miriam Balogu. It mm -hmm. was uh, Sabbath that won. That's one six one six three straight set. Just for Yakubu and Amarachi Udo, it was six two, six two. Another mm -hmm. straight set victory for the women's qualifier round. I mean, we've seen the same stars also in this one. What are the prospects we've seen so far? Um, uh, with, with what I've seen so far, um, mm. uh, we all know that um, our biggest chance of getting to the quarterfinals this year is um, via one of our oldest prospects, um, Oniloma Kodri. Um, mm. Last week, um, she lost to the semi-finals with Abatia. And um, it was close. She won the first set, but she lost, in, she second. lost the second and final set. Um, but this... Um, this this week um, she will be playing um, uh, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Was born in um, in Denmark, um, Divine Unweke, and um, in the next round um, from the from the draws, I, I let me talk like a Nigerian now because from the draws I I even see her going as far as the quarterfinals. Really? Yes, I see because oh. uh, before this tournament started, she wanted to get go as far as the quarterfinals, and um, she she got to the second round. But from the from the look of things. Um, now um, the first round might I, I, I might I might I might be I might, I might be sounding too too unrealistic, but I just know she's gone past the first round. The second round she will play um, the winner between Tamara Kurovic and um, Alexander Riley, and um, f I'm looking at the way those two players played in the first leg, I don't expect too much from them. So mm -hmm. I expect she will get past that one. Then maybe in the quarterfinal she'll probably meet um, the second seed Valeria Strakova, mm -hmm. who was knocked out on the first yeah. round in the first week. So I'm um, looking at the draw. I think. Um, um, you know, McCaudry stands a very good chance to get to the quarterfinals this weekend. Yeah. Okay, that's a great one. Okay, before we uh, wrap up, uh, I mean, I was asking the question, what are you going to do here? You're in Lagos right now. You're going to be leaving after Lagos Open. Do you have anything you want to do for the kids you said you've actually seen that? Uh, but, but I mean, you've seen yeah. that. Yeah. So what are you doing? Actually, in, the, in the congestion with the, congestion with the Lagos Open, okay. there's a, a clinic that I'm conducting from, you know, the tennis academy. Uh, Genesis Tennis Academy from Arizona. So we'll be doing that for the for the kids. You know, we'll be having a, a clinic. I think it starts on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. on, on Thursday, I think it, it's on Thursday. I think it's three days. Okay. They are they after the third day. They're gonna play, play a tournament. We're gonna mm -hmm. have a tournament. So the clinic gonna be pretty much showing, trying to lay a foundation there, whereby the other coaches here, the branch here. Genesis Tennis Academy now can now help. It's just now, it's just now one one person we but we're building a, a team, a bunch of coaches. You know, like uh, Coach Akiloye, Abel, and uh, Sunday Binovia, everybody. Mm. We're getting it together. Also, uh, Prince. Okay. Uh, Aladdin Joy. Yes. So it's the part of it. So that we are trying to bring this together just to put a platform. And what we're trying to do right now is to find a way to have at least two, three, or four players. Okay. You know, like to pick out of out of them, like for them to come overseas mm. and, and train at the Genesis Tennis Academy in Arizona. Mm. So okay. Remarkable. Well, thank you guys. Like a good deal. Yeah, yeah, a good a good deal. We can't just wait to have another cocoa yeah. from Nigeria. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for coming on the program. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. A thank you. Yeah. Good one. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you back to the courts now. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, okay. We need to go on the short break now. We'll be just looking at the game again between Nigeria and Brazil. Of course, the fact that you're having a Francis Uzo is out for a long time. Thirty-six weeks. Wow, it's so long.